Check it out, my bicycle that I bought yesterday here in Athens for 60 euros or about 70 bucks or so. Pretty sweet find. It was a very lucky thing that I ended up uh, finding this thing. A uh, 18 gear mountain bike that is in decent condition. So I am stoked. I'm ready to hit the uh, Greek islands. I stayed in a hotel just a uh, short ways away from here the past few days while getting uh, ready to head out to the islands. I'm now heading up to the uh, Athens metro and taking it to Piraeus. I'm actually near Piraeus at the moment, uh, but uh, there's one more stop um, on the metro over to uh, Piraeus itself, which is the port uh, for ferries departing to the Greek islands. So um, as you can see, I'm all uh, ready to go here with all my stuff. I got a uh, tent here and a camping mattress. I'm headed for Santorini. I'm actually gonna be staying at a hostel on uh, Santorini Island for the next uh, eight nights at least. I have eight nights reserved at a hostel. And then uh, I'll see after that. I'm just winging it from here. Gonna be island hopping. Time to uh, get going here. In this video, then you will get a taste of the ferry experience. I have a ferry leaving at uh, seven this morning. Um, it's about 6.20 right now. It's one of the fast ferries, which I'm actually kind of a little bit bummed about because uh, you don't get quite the same experience as the larger uh, slow ferries in which they are open air and uh, you can stand out on the deck and look out at the islands and everything. This is a enclosed uh, smaller ferry. Uh, but anyways, you'll get a uh, taste of the Mediterranean and uh, what ferries are like in uh, Greece. So time to hop on this bicycle, get going. Nice sunrise going on there. One, two, press. And here we are at the port, Piraeus port, definitely not the uh, nicest part of Greece, but it gets you there. On the right there is one of the offices where I bought my ticket yesterday for 44 euros and 50 cents, about 50 bucks. And the ferry should be out here somewhere, Flying Cat it's called. All right, one of these ferries here. High speed seven, that could be it. Flying Cat four, ah, I think this is it. Santorini? Yep. Thank you. Thank you.
night and I am off the boat. This is Santorini. What a sight. That is the hill that I gotta go up. And so this here is basically the volcanic crater from the eruption, which was uh, around 1600 BC or so, and just kind of blew the island apart into multiple pieces. And so this is the main uh, part of the island. And then there are these little islets out there that were previously part of the uh, island of Santorini, which at the time, the name meant Round Island. It is no longer round. All right, so uh, about to uh, hop on the bicycle there. I'm doing it. It's tough going, but uh, I'm more than half the way up. There's one thing I would much rather be doing at this moment, however, and that is jumping in that there blue water. Soon, very soon. And their stop signs are in English. That tells you that this is a touristy spot. And check it out, the other side of the island. Parissa. Oh yeah, downhill. That feels so good. I just better not get down this hill. And then someone says to me, oh no, you need to go to the other Parissa. And then I get to go back up the hill. Probably that won't happen. What a amazing day! Dang it! Flat tire! And I don't have a uh, tire patch kit or anything. Of course, uh, I knew this was a possibility. I uh, did a bicycling trip here in Greece for uh, three months and got lots of flat tires. I just didn't get the chance to get a flat tire kit uh, back in Athens because I bought the bike yesterday and then hopped on the ferry this morning. Uh, so I don't know how much further it is to Parissa, but I'm just going to walk it, see if maybe I can catch a ride. And then just what I figured was if and when it happens, I'll deal with it. I'm sure there's uh, somewhere on the island that I can uh, fix a flat tire. Certainly there are places that uh, will uh, rent bicycles and uh, they can fix it for me or I'll buy a flat tire kit or whatever. So not as fun walking, that's for sure, especially with this backpack and everything, but there is a nice uh, cool breeze and hopefully it isn't uh, too far. All right, so there is a uh, solution here. Those guys at that uh, service station are gonna fix the flat for me. So uh, he was just gonna patch it right there and then I'd be off and rolling, but he said there were too many holes in the, in the tire. So I don't know if um, there were some already there or what, because uh, I saw a, uh, a screw in the tire. And so I don't know how they got multiple holes, but, but anyways, he said that there is a uh, tire shop right nearby but it's closed because it's Sunday. And so uh, they're gonna go ahead and fix it for me um, tomorrow and I'll just come by and pick it up. So here I am walking. Parissa is like a kilometer away. And so I'll just walk it, get there, relax, 
and deal with things tomorrow. Oh yeah, that feels amazing. My first time in the Mediterranean in seven years since uh, I was last in, actually Turkey. Because I went to Turkey after uh, Greece, that last uh, trip that I was in Greece doing the mountain biking adventure uh, with my girlfriend at the time, Deanna, uh, to Turkey for three weeks and then flew back to the States. So it is good to be back. I love the exquisite, uh, calm, clear, beautiful waters of the Mediterranean. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. That was definitely an interesting day, slightly more interesting than expected. The bike is at the uh, service station there. Hopefully that gets taken care of tomorrow. Uh, I'm all checked into my hostel, which is right uh, near Parissa Beach, a you know, seven minute walk or whatever out that way. Check out those beautiful mountains there. Very stark, classic Greek landscapes oh it feels good to cool off especially after a bit of a strange day like today all right uh take it easy and stay tuned a hell of a lot more videos coming from greece bye bye all right check it out good news problem solved Flat tire fixed, and they only charged me five euros, which is just like five bucks. So uh, that was amazing and a lucky uh, find. And check it out. My first time uh, doing a full shave in uh, three and a half years. It's been a long time. It feels great, actually. Uh, time for me to get some sun on this face and the rest of my body, though. Uh, so going to head for the uh, beach this afternoon. It's turning into a beautiful day here. This is the hostel where I'm staying, just $9. I will uh, show uh, the hostel and more of the prices of things in upcoming videos, so stay tuned. Take it easy.